creatives how are you welcome or welcome back to the nerd creative channel build the moomin house box 13 part 6 in this video we'll be completing issue 48 of the build grab yourself a coffee sit back relax and enjoy so let's have a look inside in the last video we put this roof on the veranda in this video we'll be completing this table for the landing so let's get going so that's our step-by-step -step instructions here yeah. let's get all the components out These are the legs, and that's the draw handle. I can get a closer look at them there. Let's begin. First thing we've got to do is we've got to remove all these. Let's move them aside. Move all. Remove all these uh, elements, components from the housings. And there's just a little tab that you have to cut. And you know you've cut it because you hear a click like that. It's the first lot, and then there's just these two. And so that's the back of the drawer. And this is the front of the drawer. Let's see if they need tidying up a bit. I think they're fine. That's uh, a guide for the legs. There, like that. So, this is uh, the base. Looks like a, a jigsaw piece. And then this is the back panel here. And you know it's you know the difference between the black back panel and the side panels is that the side panels are smaller and th there's two of them so this sits there like that i'm just going to put some glue on it so i'm going to glue this so i've got got the pva glue and got a couple of cocktail sticks on the go We just need to put a little bit of glue on here, so a bit there, and a bit on that side as well, and up there like that, and then we just sit this or slot this in place like that there. Clean off any excess glue like that so that I can sit it down and glue the two pieces together like that. There. And then 
leave that to dry. So next thing is we need to get these sides on which slot into place like that. that. Put some glue there and there. Rip it off. There, like that. Okay, like that. Leave that to dry. So we've got this side to put on. So I'm going to glue on here. There and there. To make sure we go up the side as well and then remove any excess. And that slots in there. Like that. Oops. And we'll leave that to dry. I'll lift this to dry a little bit. So we brought back the the tabletop here. So we need to put these two together. So I'm going to put glue on here like that. Put it on and scrape it off kind of thing like that. The tiniest amount of glue. On the tops of the sides and back. Like that. And then this goes On here, which sure is the right way around. And it lines up with the boxes, the squares. go that way around and it stands so you've got a pocket there for the drawer sit like that those squares are guides for the legs just let that dry time to put the legs on So we need to put glue there on either side, like that. And 
Amba Amba No And then on the squares as well The legs in place. One. Make sure they're straight. Three. Yep. And leave out those to dry, those four legs. As so well those legs are drying. I'm gonna put I'm gonna construct the drawer that goes inside. I've done quite a few of these before in this build. So I just need to put a little bit of glue on three sides one two like that and slot it in there doesn't matter, front and the back of the both the same. It doesn't really matter which way it goes. Just make sure it's where it should go. So that that's the back of the drawer, and then we've got the front of the drawer. fronts there. That. And they've got that little chip there. So I'm going to hide that by putting it in the bottom. And then just sit that on the front. Just line it up. That's our drawer. I'll bring those back and leave them both to dry. So I've given them enough time to dry now. You see the legs are on there. Um, I brought paper towel in and I've mixed up some uh, acrylic with water to create a wash. So I'm just going to start with the wash. That. So it's it, it's um, one part brown, two part water to give. So it's not brown; it's a wash of brown. Remove some of that. Because some of these pieces are small, I've got to be very careful with how much paint I use. So if I put too much on I can just just remove it like that. 
keeping the wash look so it still looks like wood and not brown wood. panels done and it's raw wood so it's just going to soak it right up yeah it's raw untreated wood See, I'll leave that to dry while I do the draw. There we go. Just removing any paint because we're not painting it brown. Um, do the underside as well. Well, you're not going to see it, but I always like to. Right. I'll leave those two to dry. doesn't take that long to dry because it's a wash so I'm going to turn the turn the table over I'm going to do the underside Oops. about there to remove any excess keeping the wash and then the legs I might have made that one a little too dark. Or it could just be, it's different, it's a different type of wood, which I think it is. Just paint it on, paint it off. Yeah. 
making sure we've got every side covered including the inside of this drawer look at that inside of the drawer that we haven't done yet and the tops need those two to dry so I've given these enough time to dry, as you can see, nice wash over them, I might have missed a few areas, I don't know, no not really, I've done all the sides, and then the drawer, just test it in there, push it there, so we need to put the handle on the drawer, this is the handle. Need super glue. Just turn the drawer over there. Just need to get it there. And I just really need to put it over the end because as I slide it through, it'll pull glue backwards. So I'm just gonna get it in that hole there. Like that. There. And then I'm going to slide this in like that. There we go. It's our little landing. I think I've missed a bit there. Fine, I can fix it. That is our landing table with the drawer. And it works perfectly. That completes issue 48 of the build. If you want to see how small it is, there. As always, we've got merch for the channel. We have our nerd creative range and our stay creative range. Links in the description. Get whatever you want. I'd like to thank you for your company. I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative.